This film involves culture of Kambala and Bhutakola, a human and nature conflict where Shiva is a rebel who defends his village and nature. A death leads to a war between villagers and evil forces. Will he be able to regain peace in the village? This movie was directed, written, and stars Rashid Shetty, Kishore Kumar G, and Akif Kumar. This is Kantara. Watching where we watch the essential films from lists of cinematic influencers and look at them through the lens of learning about filmmaking and how to move forward. I'm your host, Trey Epps, and let's talk about the filmmaker, Rashid Shetty. Okay, I, I, I didn't know this until I was putting all of this together that Rashid wrote, directed, and starred in this movie, and it colors the way I look at the film. In my mind, uh, in my mind, this is very similar to like a Will Smith film or Eddie Murphy film. And I know that the, those two examples aren't writer, director, and actors, but it's probably the closest thing I have that's com comparable to people who uh who essentially have a lot of production creative control in their big epic films you know put tom cruise in there as well and i don't know rasheeb's work but i and i i don't know if he's beloved as an indian filmmaker writer director or all three like is it one is it the other is it is it a combination or is it all three but I would have told you after watching this that he was going to be uh, he was going to be in so many more films. Uh, to to find out that he made this, I was curious about how often it happens in India that someone is making, writing, and starring in movies such as this. And I feel like it's a different beast entirely than America. And and it's I, honestly I think harder. I think you're dealing with a different budget entirely. So I give him so much props for for doing this. Reading about how some of the films like Bahabuli took years to make uh, while it was in production, I'm really, really impressed uh, as, this was, as this epic was no small feat, although very different from some of the other films that I've seen that were epic, uh, that were epics. The, the, the big nature of Kuntara, uh, it was one of the highest budgeted films to come out of India, which was still under a million dollars, which is in, insane. Um, and I really loved, I really loved every moment of this. Now, listen, I'll say this up top. I know that the director of Tumbad and, and, and Vishab Shetty have some words about how male toxicity is, is glorified versus, you know, what Tumbad was about, which is really putting down the greed aspect. It was really putting down how we let our nature kind of overcome, uh, maybe what's right in the world. I'm not here for that. I, my, my personal opinion is, you know, like toxicity in all is terrible, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't have a place in cinema. I think what we, what we, the audience take away from it is the most important thing. And I think what's really important is that Shiva's, uh, yeah, Shiva's, uh, <laughs> Shiva's nature, the way he, he, the way he acted isn't always good. And I hope that we can acknowledge that he's a flawed character. He is not, someone who's imperfect, he has issues. Um, but I think that's what, that's what made him so fun. It made him fun because you're like, this guy's being an idiot. He may be right in what he's doing. The way he's going about it is completely wrong. Um, but watching, watching Shiva go from, or let me take a step back. I know nothing about a booth cola. Booth cola? Booth cola? I know nothing about this. Uh, it's incredible to, to, I say this a lot, don't I? I say it's incredible, but I really enjoyed being able to go back and understand this culture. If I'm pronouncing it properly, is it Kannada? I don't want to say Canada, but is it Kannada? Uh, Kannada films and the region and all of that are, it's just something else that I didn't know about. I didn't know about this region. I didn't know about the style of, of, the style of movies. And it was, we'll get into the fun facts in a bit, but it was made to be, this big of a film uh, and it just goes to show again how specificity how specificity in our storytelling can be universal our themes can be universal um i just found out that i'm like one percent indian so there's that but i i joke it's true but i jokingly say that because uh 
when it comes to marginalized people, I feel a real connection to them, which is why I feel so connected to uh, Indian cinema. Uh, I feel I feel connected to anyone who's n not a white man, to be perfectly honest with you. I, I think we all have this understanding that we all have had real hardships, whether that's colonization, whether that's slavery, whether that's racism, whether that's people's biases against us. Uh, it's it's really important to have that solidarity and 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 uh, personhood with each other. So that's why I feel so connected. Someone asked me why I was doing Indian films uh, specifically, and I told them, I, actually, I watch all films that aren't American right now. Uh, I watch American films as well, but I'm doing deep dives into like Japanese films, Indian films, French films. Um, and I'll, I'll always try to expand my knowledge into that because our culture, like the world has so many cultures that are so connected. Um, and this film really, really proves that. Again, I don't know much about a Booth Cola other than what I read after the film, but as they were doing it, I felt I felt the like the the connection between other cultures, like the Mayan culture, the the you know, the Hispanic culture, the the African culture, on how we all have very similar rituals, um, which aren't always directed at obviously the, the same gods or or deities or whomever. But I think we all have very similar rituals that are trying to come across and have the same effect. And again, I could not have felt more connected to watching the end, uh, to watching the end where, where, where Shiva is, 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 is in the garb, in the dress, and in the makeup and everything, and he's doing these dances, and it's, 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 it, 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 it steals your breath away to watch him do this uh, and, and everyone who, who was doing it throughout the film, uh, maybe one or two other actors, right? Um, it's, really, it's, it's really incredible to see that happen. And, you know, again, it may not be, it may not be the exact one-to-one -one that, you know, Mayans do X, Y, and Z or wear, you know, yellow, y uh, yellow makeup, but it's certainly similar. And I felt so connected to what they were doing and what was being said um even even to the point of like trying to move people out of their homes in the forest like that's that's so important and this could have i think in any other movies any other like director or writer's hand it's like oh we got to save the forest and the trees because of the climate and i think that may have been part of like the of um uh, what's his name is it uh oh, i forgot his name uh the other guy's name <laughs> the antagonist, the forest ranger, um, that may, be, may have been part of his motivation, but that wasn't something to be celebrated. What was important was that like people were being displaced from their homes for centuries, um, let alone the fact that they have this, they have this agreement with, uh, with this god. They, they, they're being displaced, and that's something that we need to focus on. Um, and that felt, that felt really important. Uh, it felt really important to talk about how people are often because of the government are often being told that they have to do things that aren't really good, right? Like it, it, it just was, it was just a really bad setup from the beginning. So to have Shiva uh, step up and I, honestly, I think it was really dangerous. Some of the things that he did, uh, you know, I'm not sure how things are in India, but I feel like if I stepped to a, a, an agent with a gun like that, or like he would have arrested me. <laughs> um, if I, if I'd have been popping those fireworks like that, I, like the person I would probably thought I had a gun myself. Like it was, yeah. So it's really interesting to see the differences and also to understand how I wouldn't have reacted some way that way. And if this is a film, first of all, but how other people may act that way and how things are different. Truly, truly interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, so I, there, there's something really about the, the, the people of it all, the, 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 like the, the community, the community of it all. That was really exciting to have his mom. Um, first of all, to have this like, to have this like grown man, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm my, my assumption is that like, Shiv is at an age where he should be married, should have kids, and the impression that I got was like all of his friends were also older than him, like a roughly older, you know, a, a bit older than him, so they should have been married, had kids, and do all this, and like, <laughs> it's almost like you know this comical, this comical thing of like these boys being boys and like living out on the land and doing whatever with the landlord and, you know, getting their money and doing this thing. Um, going out and hunting, and hunting boar and all this that like, 
like living like this real bachelor lifestyle to then be confronted with you know this love interest to then be confronted with like this person's trying to take my home to then be confronted with like my like the landlord this guy that i trusted has like not only not only betrayed us but killed one of our own not uh, not only one of our own but my brother it's really it's really hard it's really hard to to come back from that and uh what what it really felt like was this movie was on a roll in terms of like giving you plot point after plot point of like it's not going to let up on what it's trying to do it's going to continue to slap shiva in the face give him some wins but it's going to continue to slap shiva in the face until we get this final moment when um he's being possessed and you know he's he's killed he's killed um uh, and there's such an effort such an effort for everyone to rise up and people are being murdered um and the landlord's just sitting back and being so evil and so disgusting and shooting people from like a camping chair um and and when shiva's uh murdered it's 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 heartbreaking right we we all know it's something will will happen but we don't know what at least i didn't know what was going to happen i know he's going to come back just didn't know how um, but to see that happen and to see how I, I thought it was really fun. I know I shouldn't say the way he was murdering people was fun, but it, it was, <laughs> but this action sequence was so fun to watch and to finally get more of this, right? Cause we saw a bit at the beginning, actually we didn't even see the beginning. We, we saw, you know, the, we saw the, the cola at the beginning. Um, we saw cola in like in the middle bit. But we never saw the powers of, of this. We never saw any of this happen on screen. So I thought it was interesting to see um, to see it all laid out in land. I think if we saw too much of it throughout the film, we would, it wouldn't have been as impactful. And it was so impactful to watch. It was, yeah, it was just so, it was so good. If I, if I had a clip here, I'd probably play it again. But uh, I don't. <laughs> now, um, here's some fun facts in case you didn't know. Uh, during the bull race and the fight sequence after it, the camera team had to walk and run through, uh, through two feet of mud. Okay. Like that, that it's so much mud and that's so much, and that's really taxing to, to have to do. So it really shows that people were really in it to, to get the shot done. Um, uh, Manasi, uh, Sudhir, who played Shiva's mother is the same age as Rishabh Shetty. So essentially someone his age played his mother, which is ridiculous. Does that often happen? Like that seems so wild to me. Uh, it's so much to the point of like, when she came on screen, I was like, that's not his mother, but that can't possibly be his mother, but okay. Um, so there we go. Um, in case for those who don't know, the Booth Cola was uh, also referred as a Deva Cola, is a ritual dance performance prevalent among the Hindus of Tulu Nada, and parts of uh, Malen, Malen, oh, Malenadu uh, uh, in northern India. Sorry for screwing up these names. This dance is highly stylized and held in honor of the local deities worshipped by the Tula-speaking population. Uh, a noted film critic from the, from the north of India asked Rashib, Rashab uh, if he had any qualms and uncertainties about the presentation of the extremely regional ritual of Bukola on screen and the, uh and for an audience that might not be well versed in the tradition and rashab laughed it off saying no i have always believed regional is universal to kantara's credit the film was originally conceived as a regional Kannada Kannada film only uh the film universe the film's universality of theme and its soulful connection with non Kanada speakers was the reason why the production house decided to dub the film in other languages. The movie's glaring success at the box office became a testament to the exposed uh, universal universality principle by the director uh, and lead Shetty. I've said this just a second ago, but it's so important to really dig down and be as filmmakers understand what makes our films universally loved and that's being being able to tell stories that are universe that that are specific to us that may not feel like people understand it but they do again i feel very connected to a lot of cultures that i 
that are in my peripherals that I may not know entirely. I feel very connected to, to Indian cinema the same way I feel very connected to Indian people and, and feel connected to other, other marginalized people because I am a marginalized person and I understand that we have our own specific uh, things that we do. Um, um, and that feels universal because it's showing that on screen allows people to, to, to connect that part of them. Uh, and as audience members, we we just have fun with that. We have fun with learning and stepping out of the theater and going, I don't know what I just saw. I don't know how much of that is real. Or I may have heard about something like that. I know that they do that in, in North India, um, but I didn't know it was like that. Or I didn't know it could be like that. I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, and I think that's really fun to walk out and be curious about what you just saw. In terms of scene stealers, Kishore Kumar Kishore Kumarji is absolutely a scene stealer. He is, you know, an older man who just got absolutely dogged on this entire film. He could not catch a break. Uh, and I feel so bad for him. I feel, feel so, so bad for him. But I was so happy that, um, I don't know, it was just really nice, it was really nice comedic relief um, that was just met with, like, my heart was gushing for this man to just get a win. I just wanted him to get a win. Uh, so much so that like even his gun and his stories are being you know crapped on the entire time. So I thought it was really really funny. Um, so in terms of like how I would make this better, which is a part of the movie, which is a part of this where I like I jokingly say something, and I thought I was thinking about it, and I was like I'm not sure if I I'm not sure I, I don't have anything. And again, I think initially because of the poster, because of the face on the poster, because I see I saw so much of it, I thought. You know, the deity would be so much more of the story. And I think in theory, he was. In practice, he wasn't. But again, upon reflection, I think if it was just like magical power or like God thing, like it would just be too much and it wouldn't be as impactful as opposed to like the end where it's like, this is why this God is showing up. This is why this deity is showing up. Um, and here's why it's important to the story that is now. And I, I really appreciate that entirely um that it wasn't just being overused this wasn't a marvel film where it, it really just had magical powers it was so direct and specific and i'm sure it would have cost a crap ton to continue to do anyway but you get the idea that it was sparse and it was important to for it to be sparse um is this movie required watching i think so i think so thank you so much thank you so much for recommending this film to me uh and for the young lady who commented a couple of days ago and said you have to watch this movie and i responded back with it's still in theaters and none of my theaters is showing it and she said it's on amazon prime um so thank you for that uh because i, I wanted to see this for uh, a couple of months now and and i'm so happy that I was able to um but what do you what did i miss from this movie is there anything that i missed anything that i should be paying attention to or your favorite part to this movie Again, my favorite parts was anything with Kishore in it. I, I really enjoyed uh, his comedy relief, and I really think that Rashad Shetty did a really great job of making this entire thing and, and leading the way. And it makes so much sense that this movie was so popular, not only in India, but around the world. And uh, yeah, I will definitely be making a trip soon. Uh, not soon. I don't know. I don't know when, but I will be making a trip to, to watch something like this in theaters because... I think you just got to see it to believe it. And I don't think, I don't think watching in, in New York is going to do me any justice. Um, yeah. With that said, if you like me reviewing movies like this, if you like this that we're doing here, be sure to check out our other videos, like subscribe, do all of that stuff. And until next time. Uh, yeah. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Until next time. Peace out guys. Bye.